out. Ciao. close <laughs> close and personal so i watched a couple of tutorials and one of the tutorials did not use clear soap and one of the tutorials said like it was really important that you use clear soap so um i don't know i actually didn't i'm not gonna use clear soap today because i don't have any um it is by sugar with a s h sugar soap works and i like this soap because it's really gentle on like my body it's oatmeal and coconut soap it smells really good it's cruelty free and it also has like no artificial colors and it also has no paraben so i figure it'll be safe to use on my skin and i'm just gonna start by just brushing my own brows and then the next thing they said to do was just make sure that your soap was um, kind of wet so that you don't have like chunks on your soap. So I'm just going to take a spray bottle and just gently mist the soap. And then I'm going to take my spoolie and just start to like work some soap in it. So that's what the spoolie looks like with soap on it and I'm going to get a mirror just so I can make sure that I see what I'm doing. Hey guys, if you appreciate my content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Become my cousin. Cousin? Now let's get back to the video. So basically all I'm going to do now is just take that spoolie and just begin to brush the soap into my eyebrows. So in both of the tutorials that I watched, they said just to make sure that, you know, you make sure that you get the soap on every strand of hair and you want to brush it going upwards so that it looks, you know, like bushy and it starts to make your brows appear to look thicker and, you know, just doing a comparison i mean it does look thicker but it also just kind of looks like they're stuck to my face <laughs> but um i'm gonna commit to it um i personally haven't had my eyebrows threaded in probably about a month so my brow hairs are a little bit longer than i would like them to be so i had to kind of like wrap them <laughs> going back down the sides but um on this side I didn't go as heavy with the soap as I did on the right side just to see and it definitely worked a little bit better I didn't kind of like smush it into my hairs on this side I just kind of did like two passes and then left it alone and this is what they look like just with straight soap in them no fillers so now we're gonna go in and just fill them using like the hair technique if you guys have ever heard of that i'm gonna be using a little bit of the dip brow powder by elf also and i'm going to be using an angled brush and i'm just gonna start filling in my brows um like natural hairs so not just the typical way that I feel them where you just kind of outline the bottom of the brow. This time I'm going in and I'm just kind of feeling in like sparse or like ball areas basically and trying to make it mimic hair as much as possible. I don't really care for this like brow pomade. It just was the only one that I had on hand. I typically use pencils, but um, in both of the tutorials I watched, they didn't use a pencil, so I just decided to give it a try. I will go ahead and say that I think that if you are going to use white soap, you definitely need to go a shade darker than whatever color that you are currently using because um, just going on top of that white soap with this brown powder, it just wasn't dark enough, but um, <laughs> I will talk to you guys a little bit more about that towards the end of the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in and fill and shape and, you know, do the rest of my brows the way that I normally would. Go ahead and finish my makeup and I will come and let you guys know, you know, my final thoughts on this whole soap brow technique what i think about it what i do it again how i work for brown girls all that good stuff so keep watching i'll talk to you at the end
I feel like if you have one lighter colored eyebrows, fair tone skin, you won't get like this white cast because not only is the white cast like making my brows look like it's a clear difference between like the color of my hair, color of my lashes versus the color of my brows. More hair is there, but at the same time, it still looks really artificial. I think with clear soap, it'll probably do a little bit better. Going out like this, like if I had to just run out and it just looked really dark, I probably would go in with just some, you know, the same color of brow powder that I would use if I were filling my brows with powder. I do have some, you know, medium brown brow powder that I will just go over these brows with. But for the purposes of this video, I did didn't want to do that just so we could test just like the basic using basic soap I feel like just with the soap being so white I probably should have gone a shade darker in my like brow pot powder pomade whatever you want to call it like in the brow product that I use so I think that'll make a difference like go a little bit darker if all you have is white soap let me know what you guys think in the comment section if this was your very first time visiting my channel hopefully you're subscribed to my channel by now become my cousin turn your notifications on so you don't miss a video and i will see all you guys in the next upload